The other day I made a couple of videos titled In the Clouds, Ramp, and Jungle Rock Island. And let me play this for you real quick. <clears throat> so you can see how big this ramp is. It literally goes all the way into the clouds. And I've been getting a lot of questions on how I did that. It's really, really easy. I'm going to build another ramp for another video. But I want to build it in a different level. I want to build it in um, Johnson Valley. So let's go to Johnson Valley and I'll show you how I build those giant ramps. All right, so here we are in Johnson Valley. So what I'd like to do is build a giant ramp and have it come down, swoop right here, and go up and see how close I can get to hitting that trailer park. It's kind of hard to estimate where everything's going to land at because the the size of the ramp and the altitude and stuff like that is really, really hard to predict where everything's going to turn out. So I guess we'll start like right about here. Try to get as straight as we can with our target. Escape, main menu, track builder. Start track builder here. All right. So for this first, um, here's some of the things that you're gonna need. Um, Materials, advanced, advanced, uh, actually this one. Um, to this first one, I want to make it really wide. Let's add one piece. There we go, that's fine. I want to make the top of it really, really wide, like it's a deck, so I want to put stuff up here. And I like to change the color. I like this color here. The center one is for your patterns, right here. Any of these patterns, we'll do the octagon. We'll click glow and then change the color to light blue. So you can see I put the octagon pattern on there. This box here is the side. You see these orange lines? So you can put these zigzaggy lines over there and change the color. We'll do glow and change the color of that. So we got blue, so we'll do, I don't know, purple. That looks pretty cool. So that's how you decorate the road. Should be underneath, too. So now what we're going to do is just extend this road out really, really far. And let's make the length a little bit bigger. So just extend this out. So it looks like we're over that trailer park, but when we lower this piece, it should wind up back there somewhere. Now what I used to do is click on this for lower right here. And it takes forever. You have to go to like negative 1500 on this. So you'd have to click the button like a thousand times. But up here somewhere. I think it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. You can just go to. When you lower it, you can see it counts right here. So we'll go to negative 20. And just make that negative. Let's start with negative 700. See how far we go. And I can't even tell how close we are to the ground yet. Oh, we're right there. So I would have to take that piece right there and go way back with it and go up more with it. Because see, the ramp's not even... I want the ramp to go straight down and then come out and go up. So I have to make this piece go back and up. And instead of going set negative 700, I need to be around negative 1,000. And then you come out with it. Come out with it. And then raise this one. We can actually go back a few on that. Right about there should be good. And then go up 
whoop, it's going to go up negative 200 because I had that selected right there. But that's okay. And here's another thing. If you click on save, give it a name. Uh, Johnson ramp and click save then every time you come into the game all you have to do is come up here and go to save or load and go right there and click on Johnson ramp and it will put your ramp back so you can build a ramp in every level and then reload it when you come back to the level so let's go to menu track builder get rid of all that <clears throat> let's go up here and put a vehicle here we're going to use one of the, uh, the new gambler 500 mods there's a lot of really cool stuff in there that's why i want to build a platform up here a big big platform and i want to put all the gambler 500 mods up here i want to make this area up here really huge and put campers up here and stuff like that let's go to vehicles and one of the really cool there was one in here I liked the gambler 500 right there oh see how the car fell through not a big deal J edit Press F11 and rebuild collision. Let it reset up here. This is a lot of stuff, so it might take it a few minutes to rebuild collision. F11. Let's go back to your vehicle. Now drop it. All right. Let's see how it works. Beautiful.